to load data as a text file from Aurora into S3, run the select into out file S3 in Aurora. To load data as a text file from S3 to Aurora, run the load data from S3 command in Aurora. Here are some possible errors when running the select into out file S3 command or the load data from S3 command. Error code 1871, missing credential. Incorrect command, missing file, slash prefix slash manifest keyword. Error code 1045, access denied error. Error code 1815, internal error, unable to initialize. Error code 1871, S3 API return error, access denied. First, follow these steps to run the select into out file S3 or load data from S3 commands using Aurora. If you get an error, then use the troubleshooting steps for the error code that you receive. Create an S3 bucket. And then copy the ARN. Create an IAM policy for the S3 bucket with permissions. Specify the bucket ARN and then grant permissions to the objects within the bucket. For this video, I am using the bucket name Upload Data Bucket KC Video. Run a custom policy similar to this if you aren't using a full S3 access policy. Create an AWS Identity and Access Management role for the Amazon Relational Database service and then attach the IAM policy that you created to it. The trust relationships looks like this. Create a custom DB cluster parameter group for Aurora and then associate it with your cluster. Reboot the cluster to apply the new parameter group. Then edit the Aurora select into S3 role or AWS default S3 role or Aurora load from S3 role or AWS default S3 role to the value of the IAM role ARN. Once the cluster is available, attach the IAM role to the DB cluster you created. Log into your Amazon Aurora DB cluster. Create a new user by running this command. Grant permissions to the user by running this command. Run the select into out file S3 or the load data into S3 command. If you get any errors when running the select into out file S3 or load data into S3 commands, Follow these steps for the error that you encounter. Error code 1871, missing credentials. You can receive this error if the IAM role attachment to the DB cluster is missing. The role ARN is not specified and only the role name is listed in the parameter group. Incorrect command, missing file, prefix, manifest, keyword. 
If you receive the error, incorrect command, missing file prefix manifest keyword, then you haven't entered the correct keyword for the command to run successfully. To fix this error, enter the keyword for the command. Error code 1045, access denied error. You can receive an error like 1045 access denied for user test save load if you enter the command incorrectly. For example, this command is written incorrectly. Make sure that the keyword S3 is entered in the query. This command is written correctly. Error code 1815, internal error, unable to initialize. There are a number of reasons why you might receive the error code 1815, internal error, unable to initialize error, including the following. Your file does not exist. Confirm that the file exists in your S3 bucket and that the name you specified in your script matches the name of the file. Case sensitivity is important. Confirm that the S3 bucket name, the folder name and the object name match exactly what is specified in the load command. You lack the appropriate permissions on the file, folder or bucket level. Review to make sure that you have set the correct permissions. You might have a syntax error in the load script. Review your load script and then rerun the command. The S3 bucket and DB cluster are in different regions and the path to the S3 bucket is missing the region value. The network configuration for the reader and writer instances are different. Error code 1871. S3 API returned error, access denied. You received the error code 1871, S3 API returned error, access denied error, if you have encryption on your S3 bucket, or if there is an encrypted file inside your S3 bucket. If the server side encryption configuration exists isn't false, Add KMS star to the policy you have attached to the IAM role used to perform the load operation. For example, use this custom policy if you aren't using a full S3 access policy. So now you know how to resolve errors that you receive while uploading data to or downloading data from Amazon Aurora to Amazon's simple storage service. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Oh,